Hi everybody, this is Ms. Shembri coming to you to give you a little insight and explanation about the schedule that was sent out by Mr. Lopez. I did get some questions and I wanted to make sure that students were clear on what's expected. So I'm gonna start here with the Monday column. So on Monday morning, you can see that this says staff collaboration department and teacher team meetings. At this time, you are not expected to do anything. This is staff meeting time. You can sleep in, enjoy your morning. You are not expected to be doing anything on Monday morning. You can be working on work if you want, but there will be nothing going on for you at this time. Then, of course, you can break for lunch. Remember that we are handing out lunch to anyone 18 and younger at school between 1130 and 1. So feel free to pop on by the Del Mar parking lot and get some lunch. But then in the afternoon between 1 to 3, that is your English block. Now during this block, that's when you can expect to get English work pushed out to you by your teacher. That's also when you can probably expect that your English teachers may be online at that time. They might be around if you have questions, but mostly this schedule is for you to structure your day and make sure that you are making time to get this school work done. Now, Monday afternoon is not the only time that you need to work on English. You can definitely work on it other times, but this is kind of to have you mentally prepare for Monday afternoons to be your English time. You don't need to hop online and join a virtual class. We are not doing online school. This is just when you can expect to see assignments on Google Classroom and then give yourself that structure at home to work on your English. We're gonna go over here to Tuesday. This is when office hours will happen. So this is when people like your guidance counselors, your case managers, or any of your teachers may have office hours. This could look different depending on who you're working with, but it could be in a variety of ways, such as teachers being available via email. You can message them on Remind and they'll be ready to answer you. They may even have a Google Hangout Meet where you can virtually meet with them via video chat and ask any questions that you have. So your teacher will communicate that to you about what that will look like for their particular class, but that's when you can expect to get some questions answered um, by any of the adults on campus that you may be working with. Again, same thing for lunchtime as on Monday, nothing's changed. And then again, Tuesday afternoon, one to three, is when you can expect to get some history work pushed out to you. It's when your teachers, again, may be available online during that time. And again, this is just a mental space for you to really get into the history mode and think about, okay, I need to get on, do my history, and really schedule that time for you to work on that work. Again, it is not online school. You're not hopping on with your teacher and your classmates and just going on business as usual, like a lecture format. It is just when you can expect to see those things pop up on Google Classroom. The rest of the schedule um, is pretty similar to Monday and Tuesday, so I'm just gonna go through it pretty quickly. If you're in a visual or performing art or you're taking PE, that'll happen for you Wednesday morning. Again, same format that I've explained. Uh, math will be Wednesday afternoons. Thursday, again, that same office hour format. So make sure that you have any emails written that you need to write or anything that any questions you wanna ask your teachers, have them ready on Thursday. Thursday afternoon, that's when you can expect to see some science work come out on Google Classroom. Friday morning, that's any special programs that we have, AVID, ASB, if you're in foods, um, all of those classes will happen Friday morning. And then uh, lastly in the afternoon is world language. So I just wanna be very clear, remember this is not um, to substitute for your class time. This is not online school. Your teacher will not be lecturing to you and your classmates during these times. It's just when you can expect to hop onto Google Classroom, find the work that you need to do, and then make that time in your mental schedule um, for you to do this work. We're really hoping to keep some structure in place for you and some routine. And also for, for the adults that work with you, we wanna have structure. So I hope this helps. If anybody has any questions, please feel free to email me. You can email um, any of the admin team or your teachers. They all have the answers for you. Um, and we hope you guys are doing well. We miss you and we look forward to seeing you soon.